Hey everybody, my name is Preston. I'm with Drift Hero USA and today we're going to go over the assembly of the single seat electric and the single seat gas go-karts. Okay, here's a list of all the tools required for assembly of the single seat go-kart. You've got your socket, wrench, a 7-8 socket, a number 12 socket, box cutter for opening the box, uh, a wrench, small wrench, wire snips, and a Phillips head screwdriver. And a lot of people like to use the drill set if it makes it easier. For the first step, we're gonna take it out of the box, get the cardboard off, and then there's a frame underneath. Okay, now that we have the machine out of the box, we've got this uh, crate that we need to take it out of as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You're gonna need either a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill and a small wrench. For the next step, just to, for safety and to get these out of the way, I like to fold down all these supports. So now that we have all the, uh, the supports out of the way and the box removed, there's some wires that hold the machine to the crate that we'll need to remove. We'll do that now. All right, for this next step, now that we've got the machine independent from the frame, uh, all the materials and the equipment that's inside the machine, we're just gonna remove just because it'll make it easier for assembly. For the next step, we're gonna put the tires on. Uh, the tires are directional and they're also front and rear specific. And so uh, the wider tires go in the rear, that's one way. The directional is the tread pattern, the arrow, we've designed these treads so that the arrows go forward. And then also another way to tell the rear from the front is the rear tires are keyed. And so uh, we'll go into that a little bit on the next step, but uh, you'll notice that these are keyed on the back. Okay, now that we know which tires go on which sides, we're gonna put the tire on. First, you want to remove this plastic cover, remove any taping that's around the axle, and then uh, really important here, they're zip tied, the hardware is zip tied to it, so snip that, but uh, make sure you don't lose any of the, the hardware. On the front, you're gonna have a bolt and a lock washer. First of all, and you might want some help with this step if you can't lift it or put it on a, on a, on a uh, uh, block or something, but you just thread it on just like that, put your lock washer on, and then your bolt. And this for this step, when you're putting on the, uh, the bolt for the tire, you just don't want to over tighten it. Uh, you want to make it snug and tight. Okay, so now we're going to move to the rear tires. They are directional, so make sure that the arrows are going forward. Uh, once you've got this here, remove the plastic coverings and the tape, and then you're going to snip the two zip ties. Remove those. One has your bolt. The other one, this is really important, it's got a key and it's already in the axle, but the key is really small. We, can't, we don't want to lose this. And you can leave it in the axle for now. And then there's a spacer. Leave the spacer on, put the key in, just like that. And then you can use some help. If you need some help lifting it up, the, the back is the heavier part of the machine. And then we're going to line up the key with the slot in the, tie, in the rim. just like that. Okay, for this next part, we're gonna uh, install the rear suspension. Uh, snip the 
zip tie, remove the plastic covering, remove the nut and the bolt, and you're going to, this has some play, so you'll line up with the, the mount bracket here, slide the bolt through, and tighten it, and you've got a small wrench and a number 12 socket. Okay, now that we've done the rear suspension, we're gonna to move to the front suspension. There's two of them, on, on one on each side. Uh, you're gonna do the same thing, remove the zip screws and the bubble wrap, and then remove your nut and your bolt. This one has a washer, and you can line it up with these machines, with the mounting brackets there. And again, number 12 with your small wrench. So now that we've done that side, we'll move to this side. A few things to note, we'll remove the nut and the washer and, and the bolt. And then we're gonna put it on the inside of the, of the machine. The side with the washer and the bolt, we're gonna go through and line it up and we'll put the nut on the outside, just like so. Now that we've got the suspension on, the next step, we're gonna do your steering wheel. And the steering wheel has a couple different settings. We will raise this up, and uh, first we'll remove the, the bolt and the nut right here. Set that aside. And then you, you've got two. You've got a lower one and a top one. And it really just depends on what you prefer uh, on the steering wheel height. So put these in. I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna put it on the, the top one. Put the bolt through the other side. And then tighten down. That's it. All right, for this next step, uh, we're going to install the front bumper. Uh, there's three bolts that we need to remove. Uh, we'll do that now. And on the two side bolts, uh, there is a little piece that goes over. We'll, we wanna, we'll set that aside, but we'll come back to it. We'll remove these. And then your front bumper is gonna go just like this. And we're gonna take those same bolts and the, the cover bridges the gap so that it matches the, the bottom one. Um, and goes just like that. And then one on the bottom. and then tighten. All right, for the next step, we're gonna put the, uh, the front plastic on. Um, we're gonna remove these three bolts. One right here. And then, Drape it over and then put them right back on. Okay, and for this next step, we're gonna install the rear roll cage. Uh, what we're gonna do, I like to move the seat forward, give me a little bit more room to work and you're gonna remove these rubber caps. <clears throat> and the next step, you've got four bolts here. Uh, we're just gonna remove those. Um, and then we'll put it, uh, put it on.
Uh, with all units, you're gonna get a user manual and a little kit. Uh, this is the electric one here. So uh, you've got your user manual, you've got a little tool kit, um, and then you have your charger. And then to, to charge this, goes into any 110 outlet, uh, unbox it here, and then uh, plug this end into the machine. Uh, right here in the back is where you plug it in to charge it up. Just like so. And then when you want to use the machine, unplug it from the wall and use this to plug it in and you're ready to go. All right, now that we've got the electric version plugged in and ready to go, you've got your dashboard and you've got your on and off switch, so we'll turn it on. You've got your battery meter and fully charged here. And this is your light switch on and off and your low, medium, and high for your different speeds and your forward and reverse. And as for ongoing uh, maintenance, now that we've got the machine all assembled, this is the single seat electric version of the go-kart. Uh, one thing to pay attention to is just your alignment with the front uh, tires. Sometimes if we, you know, uh, hit something and the alignment gets off, it's really easy to adjust. So keep in mind, you always want the, the tires going forward and it's really easy to adjust. There's a bolt right here and then the, the bar going across. So if the tire is uh, tweaked in a little bit, you can loosen it and, and it'll go out or you can suck it back in and that's it. Okay, and if you selected your ga the gas model, it's really easy and pretty straightforward. You've got your pull start here and you've got your choke. Uh, it, there's a little sticker that says start and run, start this way. So when it's cold, you can start it there and then you'll move it back to run accordingly. And then your fuel is right here. The two things that you need to maintain with your gas models is your fuel levels and your oil levels. Okay, and then to check your oil level, it's really simple. And to refill it, you might want an angled funnel, uh, but it's right here, this orange tab here. You can loosen that up, check your oil levels, and then refill if necessary. Now that we've got both machines uh, assembled and ready to go, this is the electric version. What comes with every electric uh, single go-kart is an owner's manual. You've got your charger, some extra spare fuses if you need them, and a, and a tool kit. And then with the gas model, you have your owner's manual, a tool kit, and that's, that's, all, you that's all you need on that one. And now you're ready to go ride. Have fun.